Hi, um, I thought I would do an updated version of my uh, corset accountability blog. Um, I really do want to get back into corset training. This is kind of what I currently wear pretty much every day. Um, just as a, this is basically my, um, my everyday corset that's, you know, comfy. Um, I bought this one actually online, uh, it's an off-the-rack corset, um, so it's pretty good fit. The hips were far too small so I adjusted them by putting uh, a couple of pieces of uh, Dean Genum, Dean's that had worn out. I um, uh, just slit the hips where it was too tight and stuck in a couple of layers on either side and that works really well to make it a much more comfortable fit. Uh, the top, the, the, that means the bottom fits quite well, the waist fits quite well, uh, the bust is a little bit small so I kind of have to end up with a little V in the back. Um, I have had the thought of adjusting it but I actually broke the busk on the other I, from the same company which I know is not a fantastic company oh hang on let's see about taking that hat off um, from the same company which is uh, not not considered a, a great corset company uh, but this had worked for me I bought this years and years ago so I ordered some more from them on a sale uh, but I managed I adjusted one so that the hips would fit uh, uh, but it, the busk broke on it after a few months of wearing it so that was pretty sad so I have another couple I've got one that I've put some busk gores and hip gores in and I'm gonna see how that fits but I will now be aware that the busk may break because obviously there's some sort of weakness there. Uh, but yeah, I wear I wear a corset like this every day because yeah, I think I said the the straps, any pressure on my shoulders is just very uncomfortable. Um, I don't have like a excessive ex, uh, excessively. I I don't have a huge bust. Um, it's like an E cup or something I think. Um, I don't buy bras that often at the moment so I haven't had to worry but the one that I do wear if I have to wear a uh, bra for something for some outfit that I can't kind of wear a corset with I, um, uh, I'm pretty sure it's an E uh, or maybe a D, double D um, I do have a problem, I think the cups are a little small on that, um, but yeah, uh, it's, it's kind of whatever it is, I don't wear it very often. Um, so yeah, this is really comfy, it kind of supports everything it needs to, um, it could do with maybe a little more shaping in the bus, it's very straight fronted, which, but that is super comfortable, so I'm kind of like, I don't want to adjust this one, but I'm going to experiment when I make more. Sorry I'm shrugging my shoulders so much. I woke up with like a crick in my neck this morning and I'm trying to stretch it out but I don't want to kind of not do the videos that I said I'd do. And I'm sorry for the bits of hay in the, in the picture. <laughs> I um, just stuck that on a, um, uh, well I've stuck it on a haystack to hold my camera for me. Um, normally, if I'm going out somewhere, if I am leaving the farm and and in public, I actually usually put a shirt over my corset. I kind of, I don't normally have it like out and about, but when I'm just at home, um, there's not really that much reason to layer up that much unless it's cold. Um, it's a bit chilly, that's why I had the jacket on. Um, but yeah, so this is this is my current kind of style waist. I would like to make some more overbusts that are more custom made for me. Um, and I uh, would like to start kind of maybe waist training a bit again. 
Um, this doesn't really, I think, like, I've kind of got this because it's, uh, like, got this on because it's, like, a comfortable everyday corset. Um, it probably, it reshapes things a little, molds them to look nicer, but it doesn't really reduce that much. I'm not sure if I want to go big reductions. If I do go reductions, I'll probably go a little bit at a time. Um, I have some big reduction corsets that I may try as I go. Um, and maybe I'll just use them as the big reduction ones. But I'm really wanting to keep comfortable. I wouldn't mind, like see how this comes in. I wouldn't mind occasionally this to be in a little bit more uh, on the rib cage, sometimes I get like um, a sore, sore back around this area, sore back around the ribs, and this helps. But sometimes I'm like, I wouldn't mind if I could have this a little firmer. Um, but uh, the issue with that is uh, the bust still needs to come out. I used to look at some of the old fashioned corset. Um, and designs and think, oh, how did they have such a straight body and then the and then the top came out? But like when I look at it like that, it's like, oh yeah, okay. So they were just going up the rib cage and then out <laughs> for the bust, <laughs> which kind of needs a little more room. Um, and I have a bit of back back fat uh, that the corset needs to accommodate. This one's not too bad with it be open like that. Um, that's one of the things I have actually thought is whether if I just added a little bit at the back, at the top back, I might be able to close it because I could close that little bit of rib. Like I can close it, but it gets uncomfortable, uncomfortably tied across the bust, uncomfortably tied across the upper back. So I don't really want to do that. Um, yeah. So this... And I'm going to try doing a bit more of a keto diet again because even though I didn't lose a lot of weight on it, I did feel a lot more energetic, a lot less sore. My joints hurt a lot less and probably with time that would help me uh, just feel better, maybe lose weight because I'm not feeling so sore and, and stuff. Um, but yeah, I do find, I do find the keto diet good. For me, uh, I know it doesn't work for everyone. Um, yeah, I'm not sure what else to say. I just wanted to make a post. Um, I think this probably looks a little ridiculous because I was just like, where do I set this up? Uh, uh, I don't know, maybe I should do another take. But I kind of got to get going and do stuff, so it's like, yeah. <laughs> how how long do I do I take at this? Um, yeah. So the corset. This is what I what I've been wearing. It's only a it's a thirty eight inch, um, and I can pretty much close the waist of it, but can't close the top. Um, and yeah. So it's not. It's not a big reduction, but it's nice and comfy. Keeps my lower back from hurting. Um, I have had the thought of making myself one of those neck corsets just to try and help with my neck aches and pains. Because I have found that sort of support, that bracing. So I've got like a pinch, a pain up this side of my neck. Woke up on the wrong side of the bed this morning. All grumpy. Um, oh, hello, Max. Hey, um, I think Max wants to keep going and have his walk. All right. So, this is Max. Hey, Max. Say hello. Yeah, you're saying pat me, pat me, pat me. And here's the hay bales that have assisted me, my, my filming assistants today. <laughs> Okay. <laughs>